now at the five most common cyber crimes. Malware, and it includes all of these, your phishing, your ransomware, Trojan horses, crypto mining, all generically referred to as hacking. Debt or credit card fraud, as I said, that probably is the oldest one we ever knew about. Data breaches, compromised passwords, unauthorized email, and social media access. Even things that you do at your home, like Facebook, and I guess many of you do Twitter and God, goodness knows what else. But even on Facebook, you will sometimes see that somebody's Facebook page is taken down because somebody has, without authority, accessed that Facebook page and started putting up goodness knows what. <clears throat> so here are the, we're gonna talk about the four active threats in 2021. Crypto mining. Now, I would expect that crypto mining probably does not impact most of the credit and collection professionals that are on this call and that are in the credit and collection industry. Crypto mining enables a third party to open a gateway, allowing malicious third parties to get access for financial information and often to actually create, steal wire transfers, wire information. <clears throat> Occasionally, I'll get an, a question asking for wire information. Why? I don't know who you are. Why do you want my wire information? And you might innocently think, well, so what? You give me your wire information. That enables me to put money into your bank. But that doesn't let me do anything else, does it? Wrong. If you have access to my bank account, to my wiring information, and you are a crypto miner, you can get into my bank account and empty it and steal all of my money. Phishing always comes through as seemingly innocent, legitimate emails from colleagues, coworkers, customers, friends, allowing a third party to access your entire system, your contacts, your passwords, etc. Ransomware is probably one of the most malicious today. It's a type of software where they will freeze your, comp your computer. And the last time I was hacked, this is what happened to me. I was on my computer. I was doing something I probably shouldn't have been doing. I was answering, answering one of those pop-up quizzes because I like quizzes. <laughs> and as I was on a pop-up quiz, all of a sudden across my screen came the word Microsoft. And we all think Microsoft is a legitimate entity, right? Microsoft has, is, is informing you that your computer has been hacked. If you make this payment, Microsoft will unlock your computer for you. Well, I was stupid enough to be on a quiz that I shouldn't have been on, but I wasn't going to be stupid enough to send money. So I immediately shut down my computer and called my IT guy and said, Angelo, help. He said, you <laughs> did what? I said, well, I went on a quiz. He says, all right, give me access. I said, well, by opening up my computer and giving you access, won't everything else get destroyed? He says, I've got to get into your computer to fix it. And he did. He, within two hours, because I caught it right away, he was able to fix it. But they wanted money. And some people don't know, and they think, oh, it's Microsoft. So if I pay this $159, they'll fix it. Mm, and then the $159 becomes something else, et cetera, et cetera. I think you a great point about those quizzes. Um, so many people are participating in those quizzes on Facebook and Instagram because they are kind of fun. You know, it's a great social activity, especially with, you know, with so many people in lockdown. And, you know, there's there's so much information that you're supplying um, that really uh, helps people to track you down. And I've heard so many people say, oh, I've got nothing to hide if my computer's hacked, no big deal. But it's not necessarily what you have on your computer. It's the fact that they get access to all of your contacts 
and your bank account. But your contacts, I think, are key because that's what they'll use to send out these emails posing as you. You know, hey, Wanda, it's me, Michelle. I'm stuck here in Amsterdam and my wallet was stolen. Oh, yes. Can you, can you wire me $500? I'm really sorry. And because it came from Wanda, I would believe that and say, oh, dear God, Wanda, let me help you. Let me wire you the money. And so people who tend to think there's, they have nothing to hide or that there's nothing on their computer that's valuable that anybody would want to steal, um, it's the contacts. Uh, that alone is a huge treasure trove for these folks. Yeah, and Michelle is absolutely correct. And and yes, I have gotten that kind of email as well, uh, once from my uh, church organist, that she and her husband were stranded in Amsterdam. And I immediately called her cell phone. I said, Tanya, where are you? She says, I'm sitting in my living room in Stamford, Connecticut. Why? I said, okay, just wanted to be sure. So, and recently in the office again, we got an email from a law firm. In fact, I, I it's on one of the following screens um, saying, here's the, here is the status report you requested. Click on this link and you'll have all the status. I never asked for a status report from that law firm. So we just deleted it, and yes, they have been hacked, and that went out to all of their contacts. And then, of course, the Trojan horse. We all, hopefully we all, remember our um, Greek mythology and reading about the Trojan horse, where all the soldiers, of course, were hidden in this horse, and they got into the cities in order to um, attack. Well, today's Trojan horse is not a huge horse built for people to be hidden in, but it's it's probably an infinitesimally tiny little bite of an internet that's a type of malware that is disguised, I don't know how that happened, that is disguised as legitimate software. And they are often employed by cyber thieves. And what happens with Trojans is they get into your system and you don't know it yet. You can have a Trojan horse sitting in your system for a day, a week, months. And what they do is they plant something in your system and it, it waits for something else to happen later on. And later on, you click on something and that's when your Trojan is activated and can take over everything in your system completely. So here is uh, one recent example of crypto mining. And this came in actually to my office from Bank of, of America, which by the way, is not a bank that I use. And it says, action required, update. If you've already responded, you can ignore this, but we're letting you know we updated our banking system and we need confirmation of data automatic update of your online banking account. Click here to get started. Well, number one, I don't use Bank of America. And number two, I am not clicking here to get started. If I ever see anything like this from one of the banks that I deal with, I ignore this, but then I do log into my actual bank and I look to see there if there are any updates or any notifications about something going on. So this one, I just ignored completely and deleted.